Suspended monorail trains in Japan are a unique form of transportation that look and feel like an upside-down train. These trains move beneath the rail, creating the illusion of inversion, and have gained popularity both as public transportation and for tourist routes. The primary distinction from traditional monorails lies in the fact that the carriages are suspended below the rail rather than placed on top of it. This design offers a striking visual effect and broadens possibilities for passenger transport in densely urbanized areas. These trains can reach speeds of up to 60 to 80 kilometers per hour, with some models used for high-speed routes capable of reaching 100 kilometers per hour. The capacity ranges from 100 to 300 passengers, depending on the train's length and model. Suspended monorails are considered safe even in seismically active regions. Special vibration absorption technologies minimize the impact of earthquakes. The compact design of the rail system allows for routes to be constructed in densely populated cities without disrupting urban infrastructure, while panoramic windows provide breathtaking views of the surrounding nature or cityscapes. With no harmful emissions, these trains are among the most environmentally friendly modes of transportation. The Germans also have an engineering marvel to showcase. The Wuppertal Suspension Railway is a unique feat of engineering and a symbol of the city of Wuppertal in North Rhine-Westphalia. Opened in 1901, it is the world's oldest monorail suspension system and remains an active mode of public transportation to this day. The railway spans a distance of 13.3 kilometers, operating at heights ranging from 8 to 12 meters above the Wupper River and city streets, connecting 20 stations. The trains travel at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, with each carriage accommodating approximately 50 passengers. On average, the suspension railway transports around 65,000 people daily, making it not only convenient, but also an incredibly efficient means of transport. Modern carriages are equipped with large panoramic windows, offering passengers stunning views of the city and the river. The trains are powered by electric motors drawing energy from a contact rail, ensuring smooth operation and low noise levels. China has launched the world's first suspended magnetic levitation line built on neodymium magnets, capable of keeping the SkyTrain afloat indefinitely, even without a power source. Unlike most existing maglev systems, the new suspended train operates approximately 10 meters above the ground at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. According to the creators from Jiangxi University of Science and Technology, in a state of free levitation without friction, the train requires only a small amount of electricity to move. They also stated that the new magnetic levitation technology generates minimal electromagnetic radiation, and its construction costs are about one-tenth of the cost of building a subway. Local transportation authorities have announced that after several trial runs, the line will expand to 7.5 kilometers, with its maximum operational speed reaching 120 kilometers per hour. Imagine a city where trains seem to float in the air, and engineering marvels captivate the imagination. Osaka's monorail system is not just a means of transportation, but a true symbol of Japanese engineering brilliance. The monorail stretches 23.8 kilometers, connecting Osaka Airport with key areas of the city, including Expo 70 and Kodoma Shi Station. With 16 stations, this system is an integral part of the Metropolitan Transportation Network. One of the most remarkable features of the monorail is its innovative track switching system. At Bampaku Kinan Koen Station, there is a unique depot where the switches are built using a special technology. A segment of the rail viaduct is mounted on a movable platform that can shift positions to redirect trains. This fully automated process takes only 15 seconds, maintaining both high speed and precision in train operations. China has unveiled the Transit Elevated Bus, a futuristic concept designed to tackle urban traffic congestion. This unique idea envisions a bus that travels on rails installed along roads, while cars can freely pass underneath it. The passenger cabin of the TEB is elevated approximately 4 and 1 half meters above the ground, with a width spanning 2 to 3 traffic lanes. This design maximizes road space usage while simultaneously alleviating traffic on busy highways. Cars up to 2 and 2 tenths meters in height can drive underneath the bus. The demonstration model measures 22 meters in length, 7 and 8 tenths meters in width, and has a capacity of up to 300 passengers. The bus can reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, 
enabling fast and eco-friendly transportation in densely populated areas. The Transit Elevated Bus is positioned as a solution for reducing traffic jams, lowering carbon dioxide emissions, and improving the efficiency of public transportation systems. A Russian engineer has unveiled a conceptual fire truck of the future, designed to tackle complex challenges in densely built urban environments. The vehicle features a unique design that includes telescopic supports, enabling the main body of the vehicle to be elevated above ground level. This innovation allows it to bypass traffic and reach the upper floors of buildings more effectively. One of the concept's standout features is the use of drones equipped with powerful motors to deliver fire extinguishing agents directly to the fire source. This approach significantly accelerates fire suppression efforts while reducing risks to firefighters' lives. Despite its impressive visualization and technical innovations, this development remains at the conceptual stage and has not yet been implemented in real life. In the near future, we can expect a revolution in the development and practical application of alternative energy sources. One of the latest milestones is a hydrogen fuel cell train that recently set a new Guinness World Record by traveling an impressive distance of 2,803 kilometers without refueling. The passenger train was developed by Swiss railway manufacturer Stadler Rail. The entire journey was completed in just two days without a single refueling stop. The Flirt H2 model from Stadler Rail is equipped with hydrogen tanks and fuel cells that power a battery and an electric drive. The train has a maximum speed of 127 kilometers per hour, with a claimed range of 460 kilometers. However, the company exceeded this range during testing. On the evening of March 20th, the Flirt H2 began its extended journey at the ENSCO testing facility in Pueblo, Colorado. Engineers took turns operating the train for over 46 hours, after which the vehicle came to a stop after covering 2,803 kilometers on a single tank of hydrogen. This achievement marks a world record for the longest distance traveled by a passenger train powered by hydrogen fuel without refueling or recharging. The developer has not disclosed details such as the train's average speed, the fuel cell system's power, or whether green hydrogen was used as the fuel source. The train is designed to replace diesel trains on non-electrified or partially electrified networks. A Chinese maglev train in a vacuum tube has reached a record-breaking speed, surpassing 623 kilometers per hour. The China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation announced a major breakthrough in the development of an ultra-high-speed magnetic levitation train. Although the exact figures remain classified, it is known that the train achieved stable magnetic levitation for the first time while traveling along a two-kilometer test section of a vacuum tube. According to the official report, the test confirmed the readiness of the system and laid a solid technical foundation for future high-speed trials and the construction of a national maglev train network. The results exceeded the previous record of 623 kilometers per hour for trains utilizing superconducting magnets in a tunnel with non-vacuumed air set in October of last year, according to the South China Morning Post. A month earlier under similar conditions, an experimental model reached a speed of 234 kilometers per hour on a track just 380 meters long. However, the speed achieved during the latest trials has not been disclosed by the Chinese authorities. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.